at the end there are a few uh, references which are very uh, good uh, first one is that uh, YouTube presentation by uh, Vermilio uh, you will find the li link here uh, to show you the example how this simulation study uh, was performed for the low temperature uh, project uh, that's a project in southwest France um, then quite a bit of reading for uh, the geothermal systems in, in uh, Salvador and uh, Guatemala uh, pictures and photos from the site visit from the from the facility are very interesting. Uh, it's uh, available uh, and provided by Think Geo Energy. Uh, and uh, in the end, uh, a picture of uh, uh, the Lardarello projects, which, which is the first one and very famous in Tuscany, which started in 1904. And there is a very large library which was provided by Enel uh, with uh, I think hundreds of pictures like that from different areas in Italy. You will also be uh, be able to um, to find these using the link. Um, so let me see if we have um, questions. Um, so thank you, Leopoldo, for any of the Latin American project uh, we're mentioning. Delivery and the objectivity of the reservoirs can be improved fracture in the wells indeed. Um, first, uh, we need to mention that as uh, we inject the cold water, uh, it's favorable. So by injecting the cold water itself, we can uh, improve the injectivity by doing nothing. Uh, and of course, we can frack, um, frack uh, normally if uh, environment uh, um, environment environment rules uh, are respected, and um, uh, this is all to improve the both the deliverability and 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 the injectivity of the wells. The, one of the common problems in the um, in these projects is the uh, salt precipitation. Of course, we're talking about the most of the time waters with uh, quite uh, well. These are sometimes <laughs> mineral waters, and they they will have quite a lot of uh, salt content in it, and which will plug your system, which will plug your well. So you need to clean. You need to. Um, to, uh, to, to think how you treat that at the well uh, facilities and also the reservoir level. Um, how do we get the CSV file? So basically you can just uh, make, uh, make it in Excel and export a CSV. You just make a table and, uh, and, and, and fill it and export a CSV. Or you can uh, use a template or a text file uh, just a text file where you type uh, all the parameters uh, sequentially and that will be your uh, your input let me open it again it can be uh, just a text file so uh, uh, are there other open source packages for geothermal exploration of course and Alejandro will cover um, the bit which is um, uh, more on the evaluation of the plant uh, configuration and potential. But for exploration, you will find uh, the other libraries, of course. We, uh, we found that one, but uh, there will be others. Um, and we are investigating further, but also further to explore more on how the plant uh, configuration and plant design works and um, how all the economics are working but that's uh, uh, Alejandro will show will show will show that to you is there any interdependence between reservoir porosity and recovery factor yes uh, which should be captured in Monte Carlo good question uh, I saw uh, uh, dependence, well, dependence is described as linear. So some of the people, especially if it's sediment-based reservoir, they say like porosity 20% recovery fixed. Um, so higher the porosity, higher the recovery. So I think the geothermal people, they take it uh, easy. 
Um, but there are the, there is of course the dependency like in oil and gas project between porosity and permeability and between porosity permeability and recovery. Um, what's um, important to understand that the dynamics and this is why these um, projects are uh, also uh, studied uh, using the thermal simulation. The dynamics are quite complex. First, you need to understand that uh, the phase conditions will be a bit more difficult than, uh, than, uh, than we think. Of course, it's one component, it's water, but uh, the phase conditions can be different. It can be steam, it can be water, it can be uh, superheated steam. And uh, the way the dynamics work once you start to produce are quite, quite complex. And then you need to understand where the heat source is and how your uh, heat flow is uh, is uh, is uh, captured and another point is uh, that you need to model the reinjection and the cold uh, uh, temperature wave uh, so basically this is the game between the two um, uh, important concepts that you need to uh, take into account first is you need to support the pressure so that your producers are using the rates and the pressures that are, they are producing. Uh, but you also need to make sure that you don't cool your reservoir early. So you need to choose the right distance between the injector and producer. You need to uh, do the sensitivity on that. And you also need to be aware that the generally all the examples that are uh, in uh, Latin America that we've shown tectonically and um, Structurally, they're quite complex, and most of the time, they are, they, these areas are, are faulted. You need to understand uh, how the compartmentalization works, how the connectivity works, and um, it's all these classic um, uh, tasks that uh, you set to a reservoir engineer who solves the um, the uh, uh, who solves them for a conventional water flood project, basically. But on top of that, you have another uh, set of variables, which is uh, which is heat and temperature, um, and then we need to. It's not that dependency between porosity and recovery factor is not in the in uh, in in that library, but it needs to be. I agree with you. It needs to be taken into account somehow. Uh, every parameter which uh, which is uh, kind of interrelated in what you do with Monte Carlo, you need to think about how to handle uh, those. But in this library, there is no kind of you you set the post, you set the recovery factor, and this is it. Um, how do you ensure that you have a good conductivity between the injection and production well? Well, the only way to uh, make sure that the project works is to start the project. Unfortunately. <laughs> This is how the um, um, uh, that's how all the project works. Generally, it takes from three to five years to understand the dynamics. And again, this is not just the way the reservoir behaves; it's also the uh, the way you operate, the way you set up the uh, the uh, the uh, the the uh, the framework for, for the project, including the wells and including the plant and the facilities. Uh, but um, uh, the only way to understand what's going on actually is to start and monitor. And you monitor the pressures, you monitor the, pr the temperatures, and it generally takes from three to five years to understand how your pressure evolves and to understand how your temperature evolves. There is nothing. Uh, well, there are indications, of course, you have the well tests, you have uh, different types of surveys, you need to make sure that the reservoir is uh, permeable enough, and etc. But uh, generally, to evaluate it properly, you need to start it. In your mind, what's the most difficult challenge for making geothermal commercial? Um, uh, uh, well, as I understand, the project to be appeal, geology or reservoir management? Well, the projects, and that's what we understood from the talking to our clients as well. I mean, the, these projects should be unrisked for any private investor. 
it's uh, um, well it, when, when they approach the project at the evaluation stage they need to unrisk it and unrisking means investment means drill a well or few wells do a survey uh, do the evaluation and um, do, do get access to that to all the data um, so the economics well Alejandro will talk uh, a bit in more details about the economics but Generally, as you saw from the presentation, the, all these projects in Latin America, at least, they were funded initially either by World Bank, either by Japanese companies. Most recent projects are uh, funded by German funds and German companies. And other principles, which uh, Alejandro also made a point about it, that uh, in some uh, instances when you're talking about the uh, um, big company, uh, big, big energy company or oil and gas company, uh, this is to offset your carbon, um, everything which is your your carbon, everything which is which is uh, uh, taxed on your well based on your carbon footprint. So it's either offsetting either uh, getting finance from the public uh, sources, either investment funds, uh, which are public, either the, the, the banks, either the or all the countries. Um, um, but at the stage of evaluation and exploration, um, and this is essentially where the maybe more risk is, uh, is, is hidden, uh, it's important to, to to share these risks, and it's important to to bring money for uh, to to make that happen. But if that doesn't happen, if you know, there is no evaluation done, no no project will go forward. Um, reservoir management is tricky, but uh, doable. Generally, you understand if um, your reservoir is permeable at uh, quite early. You it may it, but there might be a risk about the understanding your area. So essentially, you delineate uh, as uh, as uh, as you go. Um, the area might be smaller, um, um, or there might be some issues with uh, with uh, pressure maintenance or something. So, but in in our view, uh, you're right pointing out uh, both risks at the geology and reservoir engineering uh, or. Uh, design stage, but uh, exploration risks, risks seems to be more important from the point of view of uh, how the companies are approaching the projects. That's our understanding. Um, is there a way to test the pathway since we highly potential to have reflux for injected water? Um, Not sure, to be frank. Um, well, temperature you will you will you will see the temperatures changing. Um, well, I, I would say something like traces, but I haven't come across any anything like that in geothermal uh, projects. Maybe I'm, I just uh, haven't go into the very deep details. But uh, monitoring the temperature is essential. I mean, you you will see. If uh, there is a way between injector and producer, if I understood right the question, quite quite quickly, <laughs> you, you will drop the, you will see the temperature evolving at uh, at your producer. Um, so, um, or if we, <laughs> yeah, let me know if I understood your question right, because if if you're also talking about the injectivity potential, then uh, might be different. 